Hey, I'm Jamie. And I'm Jay. And Halloween is almost here, and that means Halloween project time, which is the most wonderful time of the year. We're kicking off the preseason with another Disney prop. We're going to recreate the floating fireflies from Pirates of the Caribbean. These fireflies are so cool and they're so easy to make. It's a little green LED hanging from a rope. They're solar powered, they turn off and on, they float in the wind. It looks just like a real firefly. They only cost about $3 to make. They're super simple to build and you can use them year round. They're great for indoor, outdoor, all sorts of stuff, but especially for Halloween. These are the little fireflies you see at the beginning of the Pirates of the Caribbean ride at Disneyland in that blue bayou area, and they look so cool when we really wanted to try making one for ourselves. Like most projects, there's a ton of different ways you can make these, but we wanted to make a simple, easy DIY, cheap version that anyone could do. The way this effect works is there's a little LED light bulb and it hangs at the bottom of a really thin, almost invisible wire. Right where the LED is, there's like a little blinder type of thing. And the LED is on one side, but not on the other side. So as it sways around in the wind, it seems to blink on and off and it looks just like a firefly. These are solar pathway lights. It has an LED, it has a light switch, it's got a battery, it's got like the whole solar situation. We'll put the link to all the stuff we used in the description below so you can check out all the parts. So these little guys are pretty easy to take apart. You take this thing off and you take the silver thing off, but keep this because we're going to use it later. And to take this off, you turn it and pull. There are two tiny little screws, so we're going to unscrew those. Oh, oh, wait. Also, yeah, the silver thing comes off. <laughs> two little screws are Phillips head. We have a tiny Phillips head screwdriver right here. Thank you. The parts inside this thing are pretty simple, which is why it's so easy to modify. There's a single screw right here on the circuit board and we wanna take that off. And then once that screws out, you can push the LED from the other side. When you're cutting off the LED, make sure you cut it off as close to the LED as possible so that way you have long leads to solder with. The wire we're gonna use is this really cool, super, super thin 30 gauge wire. So you could probably barely see it on camera. How, how long is our firefly? This long. So we need to double it up because there's two wires because there's a positive and a negative. We'll cut it. Voila. And we're gonna take one of the wires and mark it so we know which end is positive. When we hook up an LED, it's gonna have a positive and a negative, and we need to make sure that those don't, you know, <laughs> cross the streams or whatever. Next, what we're gonna do is strip the wires a couple millimeters. You wanna strip off as much, about the same amount of wire as the length of the leads on here, because what we're gonna do is solder it to these. Before we solder, we're going to use these, which are little magic heat shrink tubes. Not use them, cut them, apply them. We're definitely gonna use them. Yes. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna cut them in half because they're a little too long right now. Each end of our LED thing needs three. <laughs> so the first one is going to go over both of these little wires here, like that. And then you're gonna put two, one on each end. There we go. Now, I would say that we are masters of soldering, 100%. <laughs> Yeah, first try. That was pretty good. That doesn't usually go like that. Flip it over. Okay. Don't move. That was pretty good. I got them both the first time. It's like never happened. <laughs> All right, so next we're gonna take the heat shrink tubes and we're gonna slide them over the leads that we just soldered. Now you could use a heat gun also if you have one, but uh, not everybody does. So you could just use a, like a little lighter like this and just put the flame on the heat shrink tube for like half a second and it'll shrink. Next thing we're gonna do is solder on the LED, but before we do that, we are going to twist our wire together. And it twists pretty easy, it just kind of stays in place once you twist it. Two wires have become one. <laughs> so before you solder the LED on, we wanna put the wire back through the cover of the light Thing? What is this even called? Solar, solar power thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is a firefly to be soon. One of these little leads is longer and that's the positive. So when I trim these to be shorter, I'm gonna make sure that I still leave one a little longer so that I know which one's positive. Before we put that on though, we gotta put our magic tubes on. Good call. So we're doing positive first? Yeah. Okay. Don't burn me. 
It's really hot. <laughs> I guess that's the idea. Good to go. Beautiful. Cool. Okay, so now we're gonna seal our heat shrink tube over the leads, just like we did before. And voila. We put it back together? Yes. So you're going to pull the wire all the way through and then take our first little screw and screw the circuit board onto the plastic dealie. Now we can put the battery leads back in. They just kind of slide into these little, whatever <laughs> the, these are called. We are hopeless with terminology. I have no idea what these are called. Now, the battery that it comes with, this is just a regular rechargeable AAA battery, but it's kind of crappy. So we recommend upgrading your AAA batteries. There's a link to the ones we use in the description. They're just much larger capacity, so they're gonna charge more in the solar light and they're gonna last a lot longer. Your lights are gonna be better. And now, and now we could gently push that back together. Now, before I screw everything in, let's give it a quick test. Good idea. Aha. Yay! It oh, works. Look at that. Instant firefly, almost instant. The next thing is there's a hole right here. When you normally have these in your yard, this little plastic thing is protecting this from the elements, but since we're not gonna use these, what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna seal that with a little bit of hot glue. And now we can put the screws back in. Now we're gonna make the little blinder that goes on the bottom where the LED is to block the light. So to do that, we're just going to take some duct tape and wrap it on itself a few times and then cut a hole in it and stick the LED through. You cut way too much duct tape. <laughs> we're gonna make like 12 of these, so it'll, it'll, it won't go to waste. Now what? Now, I'm gonna poke a little hole in there. The LED goes through. And then the leads get bent up. Does that seem right? Looks good to me. Cool. I think what I want to do is put a little hot glue on the back and then paint over it so you don't get any light leaking through that little hole there. Okay, that's a good idea. Then it will definitely stay in place. Mm -hmm. You know, and I was going to paint over it anyway because the black duct tape is a little shiny and the paint is more matte. That way it hides better in the dark. Since we're going to paint it anyway, you could probably just use regular duct tape. Yeah, you don't need black duct tape. Remember how I said not to throw this piece away because we are going to use it later? I changed my mind. We don't need that. We're going to use this instead, and we're going to cut it in half and make two wings that will help it to spin in the breeze. So this is the pair of wire cutters we used to cut the wires before. If this is all you have, you can definitely cut with these, but there's a better way to do it. These are called snips, and they're made for cutting metal. You can see they make quick work of this metal. Now what we're gonna do is flatten them out. So to do that, we're gonna cut this little edge off here and then it should be easy to just flatten them with your hands. This is pretty sharp. So when you start cutting this stuff, be very careful not to cut yourself. And you're right, it did basically just flatten <laughs> immediately. Cut a little curve in there because, I don't know, fan blades are curved, so cut a slit in the middle. We have a wing. Okay. 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 And then the other one's other side, right? But opposite. Yeah, so the other one's like facing that way. Wing number two. We put three screws into the side of the solar unit and attach some fishing line to hang it from. Finally, we painted the wings and screws with the flat black paint to camouflage it and it was done. Then we made 11 more of them. Since Halloween is still a ways out, we decided to hang them in the shop to see how they look. There's no wind in here, obviously, so we hooked up some fans instead to see how they moved. And the final test was to turn off the lights. If you like Halloween videos, we've got a whole playlist of them that you're gonna love. <laughs> we've got a witch's cauldron, we've got a mummy, we've got tons and tons of projects, and we've got a whole season of Halloween projects coming up. Thanks for watching. Till next time, stay wicked. If you don't do And Halloween time, or meh. We're gonna harness the power of the sun 